Thank you very much, correspondents at kerbinandmail.com. What is out? What do we need to go and see? Plane. Those two things are not no, necessarily, no, necessarily the it, same thing. It's out, okay. but you don't necessarily have to go and see so it. So Plane is the new Gerard Butler film. Um, I haven't done that for a while. Um, you'll remember that in the not-too-distant past, Gerard Butler starred in Greenland, which I loved. It was one of my films of the year. We still I, need know, to go to Greenland. Uh, absolutely. Fab. Yeah, we need to go to Greenland, but it's a great movie. Uh, there is a, a sequel in the pipeline, I think. Anyway, Plane, uh, directed by Jean-Francois Richet, who made the Marine movies. Uh, the tagline is, the crash was just the beginning, or something on those lines. He is Brody Torrance. He is a pilot flying for trailblazers. Uh, he has a daughter. His wife passed three years ago. We learn all this in, in the kind of, you know, the standard opening setup. Uh, he's trying to get, he's flying a plane. He's trying to get to be with his daughter for New Year's. He may be, he said, I might, I may be late. Uh, he is going to be late because they're going to fly through a storm and the airline are so cheap that they won't allow him the fuel to fly around the storm uh -huh. because there aren't that many passengers on board. Although one of the passengers, uh, Louis Gaspar, played by Mike Coulter, is a former Foreign Legion uh, person who is now a prisoner on a murder rap being transported on the plane. And wow. he says, well, we've got skeleton stuff. He said, don't care. He's going to go and think. So they th they're in the air. Stormy, 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 storm, storm. Big storm. Big storm. Plane gets struck by lightning. Boom. All the controls go out. It, they have to land the plane. Okay? It's a bit computer game visual. They have to land the plane. There's an island. Let's land on the island. There's a road. Boom. They get down. So that's the, the plane has landed. Well, right. You know, crashed. Turns out they're on an island to which, quote, the Philippine army won't even go there. They've got their ass kicked so many times because it is run by, again, quote, separatists, militias, and, you know, generally bad crims. So now the plane crash is just the beginning because then all the passengers are faced with hostage-taking separatists, crims, bad people. Any dinosaurs? No. No. But surprise, surprise, Captain must now team up with dangerous no but in order to save the day they must do stabby shooty runny punchy things and sledgehammers in faces and uh all that stuff and meanwhile in the background there's the the human story because what he's really trying to do is to get home to his daughter so that they can oh. have some quality time I, together i bet that happens um there, here's the thing. So there, there aren't many surprises on the menu. I mean, I've really warmed to Gerard Butler since Greenland, although what Greenland has demonstrated is that if you give him great material, he'll be great. Um, this isn't Greenland, but nor is it the Has Fallen movies, which were absolutely terrible. This is just kind of mid-range, middle of the week, you know, see it with have a pizza and a beer and then see the Gerard Butler, you know, plane puncher movie, and then there's a bit at the end which is so spectacularly preposterous that I did feel like immediately, um, you know, ringing a, a friend of mine who is a very big Gerard Butler fan and who loves uh, Geostorm and saying, uh, you need to, yeah, have you seen this? Because it's, <laughs> I mean, is there a difference? My question is this. Yeah. Is there a difference between this then, which you described as a pizza and a beer movie, yeah. and a movie which is a tea and a biscuit movie? Yes, it is. Tea and a bus biscuit movie is a kind of, you know, afternoon. This is definitely a pizza and a beer. And, you know, the plane crash, and then there's a thing, and then there's a crims, and then there's some violence, and then there's some stuff, and then they got a mail bomb. So it's and too thing. violent for a tea and a biscuit. Yes. That's why it's a pizza and a beer. Okay. And then, of course, in the 1980s, um, 1990s, Medusa Video described their straight-to-video erotic thrillers as three Bs movie, beer, biryani, and bonking. Right. No, I don't think, I don't think we want to dwell that much. Yeah. So there's biryani and bonking, pizza and a beer, tea and a biscuit. Yeah. They're, they're only three categories that we're allowed. But I, did, I honestly did feel like it's, it's my friend is Simon Brew, obviously, of you know, Film Stories, who's a huge uh, Gerard Butler fan. And, uh, and Geostorm is preposterous because that is Gerard, Buncher, but Gerard, Gerard Butler cloud puncher. But in the case of this, the last act of, um, of Plane is dumb as nuts. I mean, it really is spectacularly stupid. It looked as though it was heading that direction just for that brief <laughs> clip. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, that I kind of enjoyed had. it. You know. Well, now, that was a great video, I thought. Wasn't I couldn't it? take my eyes off it. And neither could they. Do you think they know that they can keep up to date with all things Kermit and Mayo's take by checking out our social channels? Well, they do now. Yes, they do.